Hey everyone, this is Peter from Talk Android, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Link to Windows app on your phone and PC. What is Link to Windows, I hear you ask? Well, it's Microsoft's way of connecting your Android or iOS smartphone to your Windows PC or laptop, allowing you to make and receive calls from your PC, manage your Android phone's notifications, access your favorite mobile apps, read and reply to text messages, drag files between your PC and phone, as well as copy and pasting content between your phone and PC. You can also access the photos in your smartphone gallery on the PC, all without lifting up the handset. First things first, we have a list of requirements that you'll need. First, you'll need a PC or laptop running on Windows 10 with the May 2019 update or later, or running Windows 11. Your Android phone or tablet will need to be running on Android 7 Nougat. If you are in doubt, head over to Settings, About Phone, and check which version of the Android OS is being used. You'll also need to be signed in to the same Microsoft account on both the PC and phone or tablet. And finally, both devices will need to be connected to the same network for the setup process. Some smartphone models, some Samsung and Honor, will already have the Link to Windows feature baked into their settings app, but other brands, we'll need to download the app from the Play Store, and you can do so via the link below. So the first step is open up the Phone Link app on your Windows PC or laptop. The easiest way to do it is just go to the search bar and type in Phone Link and give that a click. So that will boot up. So the Phone Link app has now booted up on your PC. The Phone Link app will now ask you which type of device you want to set up. It's Android, of course. So let's give that a click. A QR code will then be displayed on your monitor. Now we need to open up the Link to Windows app on your smartphone. On this phone that's already baked in, we'll head over here, there's Link to Windows, and we'll open that up. That asks you to sign in. Um, you can sign in manually or you can sign in using the QR code that is showing on your PC. I think that we'll sign in using the QR code, like so. And just like that, it wants to know if it can link to your Microsoft account. We want it to, so let's continue. And now it wants to know the code on your PC display. And that's quite simple. Y, J, M, P, F, X. Now it wants us to enter in our password for the Microsoft account. Now that we've entered the password and set up the Link to Windows app on the phone, it's asking for us to continue setting it up on the Windows PC or laptop you have. Okay, so let's click Continue, and device linking is complete. Return to the PC to finish setup. Let's go. We've set that up the mobile now. We're back on the PC, and as you can see, it's saying that everything is set up. Yes and no. Let's put it that way. There are a few more steps that we need to continue. Doing so, we'll press continue, and there we are. Start your phone link and Honor experience. Yes, I'm setting up an Honor device, but it does apply to just about any other brand. We can choose to have phone link open up when we sign into Windows. I'm happy with that. And now we've got a choice. It's asking us uh, which one we want to set up first. I'd like to set up view my photos first. So we'll click on that. It's asking us to get started. We've clicked. Just like that, it's allowing calls. So let's unlock all the features of the Phone Link app. Now, usually it will ask you for permissions in which, for example, checking out the photos in your gallery, it will ask you to acknowledge the request on your phone and to give it permission to access these photos. And the same goes for the apps, calls, and messages. Pretty much everything you want to do on your device, you'll have to give it permission, okay? So thanks to it being an Honor device, we can actually mirror our display straight onto the Windows operating system. Here it is asking us to give it permission. Let's just scroll down. And do we want to allow Link to Windows to record or project the screen? Yes, we do. And just like that, the phone screen is now being shown on the Windows display. And if you have a foldable, it even folds out into a bigger screen. Like that. How cool is that? So you can access pretty much anything on your phone device like you would if you were 
actually using it. And that's how to set up linked windows and phone link on your Android and Windows device. And that is how to set up link to phone and phone link on your Android and Windows devices. Easy, hey? Thanks for watching. Keep it locked to Talk Android for our future how-to videos, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.